Yeah, I'm going to my company with IRA Market. IRA Market helps you find a better retirement plan after you change jobs or retire. And the benefit ultimately is you can retire earlier or you'll have a lot more money uh, in retirement. So I know we have a lot of entrepreneurs in the room, but uh, there are people out there who have boring jobs and uh, good benefits, like a 401k plan. Uh, about 50 million people in the United States with uh, 401ks or 403b plans. And these plans on average cost about nearly 1% uh, a year uh, in account, manage account fees and investment management fees. And this is just a huge drain over the course of your career on your retirement savings. It doesn't have to be that way. After you change jobs or retire, you can roll over your 401k to a low-cost individual retirement account, an IRA. Has anyone done that before? So about uh, $300 billion a year rolls over from 401ks, IRAs, and that amount is expected to double uh, in the next five years, driven by two major factors. Baby boomers beginning to retire, and coming this fall, all 401k participants get a one-page fee disclosure detailing how much their 401k plan is costing them. And we think it's the biggest program though. <laughs> people move their 401k to an IRA uh, and get the benefit of a lower cost of having a plan. So there's three things that we help people do. First, we educate consumers about retirement plan strategies and the benefits of a rollover. Secondly, we make it easy for them. And do your research, you can compare different IRA providers on our site, and you can actually open an IRA with several popular companies like Fidelity, Schwab, E-Trade, right on our site. Uh, so we're trying to reduce that paperwork burden. And third, later this year, we're going to launch our auction marketplace, where you'll be able to come to IRA market and put your old retirement plan up for auction, and banks and brokers will compete for your business with cash back, free trade, and other offers for your rollover. I give you a boost for doing something that's good for you in the long run. So we're paid in three ways. Uh, we're paid to bring new IRAs and assets, retirement assets, long range assets to our customers. Uh, our customers so far include Fidelity, Schwab, Deep Trade, USA, Morgan Stanley, and Barney, and American Century, and work on others. So it's completely free to use for consumers. So that's up and live uh, in our beta right now at iramarket.com. We'll be adding two additional revenue streams in the future. One, our site right now is working mainly for do-it-yourselfers, and we want to help people meet a local financial advisor for their uh, rollover, if that's how they'd like to work with their uh, long-range finances. So we'll be paid lead uh, referral fees from personal financial advisors. We're building a directory for that. And then third, uh, referral fees for related products and services like other financial services like annuities and college savings plans. Maybe we could uh, do something with uh, simple tuition. And then uh, also with career services like the ladders for new service company that line up with the job uh, change or retiree lifestyle. So our team, I'm Bill McNulty. I've uh, been doing online marketing for financial services for over 10 years. Before that, I was at Chase. And I just uh, feel very strongly that there's a retirement savings crisis in this country, and the big problem is that people don't save enough. But even when they do save, uh, they are getting basically ripped off in their 401k plan, especially if you're in a small employer. Um, and then uh, my partner, Alex Zesh, is a great uh, software engineer, IBM, and startup experience, but also a great interactive marketer with Everton Rogers Group and the hospitality industry. And our marketing guy is former CFO, CMO of Credit.com, and our content and inbound marketing guy is the former editor of the street. And we have a couple of uh, other people who support us on a contract basis. So that's our story. We have it in That's great. Well done. <laughs> you mentioned that you get paid by the firms that you're gathering the assets for. How much do you get paid? About $150 uh, per account or per app. So it's not a base point model, it's an app model. We have uh, we have two ways of getting paid. Uh, we want to get paid variable based on the uh, assets. Yeah. You know, unlike in mortgage and cost uh, savings plan, there's a much broader distribution of account values. Right. And so variable uh, really makes sense for us. That's also why we're pursuing this auction strategy uh, in order to basically uh, create a. 
right nexus between the consumer and the account acquirer, uh, where the, the benefit of that larger account size can be shared yeah. between ourselves and the consumer. I really encourage you to do that because lead generation business models are, tend to be pretty unattractive for investors um, because they're not recurring and they're not uh, repeatable, dependable revenue streams. So you take a company like Bankrate versus Higher One, excuse me, uh, yeah, Bankrate or Quinn Street is mm-hmm. another example versus Higher One, two financial services companies. People know these companies. Bankrate is a lead gen platform for um, for bank uh, bank products, uh, Quinn Street for higher ed, and Higher One is and so those both lead gen business models may trade at one to two times revenue multiples, mm-hmm. whereas Higher One is a transaction based business model. It's a New Haven based company that does prepaid products for students, and they're trading at five or six times revenue. So there's a really big difference in value creation for lead gen business model versus transaction based business model. Agree. We uh, we're uh, the way we plan to address that is in adding tools around monitoring the retirement account over time and being there for the average you know, 10 times that people change jobs over yeah. the course of their career uh, and be a kind of a partner with you on your long-range planning. Um, so the second question I was going to ask you is this, this is a channel that's very crowded, whether it's search terms are very crowded because the big players like Fidelity and Vanguard mm-hmm. pay so much on the you graph. Yeah. So they pay a lot for search terms and search marketing, and you have to somehow get in the middle of that. Or they pay a lot for employer sales forces to call on employers and benefit consultants, and so now you have to get in the middle of that. How do you think about playing, inserting yourself in that middleman role when you've got this strong <laughs> marketing organization attacking those channels? Uh, I think the most important thing is to um, play nice with uh, the Vanguards and Fidelity and Schwab in the world. And so we're very much uh, uh, trying to be another arrow in their marketing quiver. Our customer acquisition focus is around inbound marketing and content marketing, positioning ourselves as the trusted place to compare these companies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so that's the way we're positioning ourselves. And, you know, and after four months from launching our beta, we're already on page one for IRA rollover, 401k rollover, Roth IRA rollover. You know, we're we're uh, surprised how vulnerable these guys are to uh, what Google really wants on yeah, the natural yeah. search side, which is a you deep content trust. Content. Uh, yeah. It's a deep content play. That's great. So we're, we're on that. And then on the uh, other side, you know, we're, we did a deal with our existing transaction partner, which is how we get paid variable. Um, so most of our revenue is actually on a variable basis. We get paid 25 basis points on the account value. Uh, that's our, our net share. And uh, so we're in there with a, an existing uh, technology vendor to these companies and seeking to be like another marketing player for them rather yeah. than a competitor for yeah. their products. Great. Questions from the audience? Uh, can you uh, roll over your IRA into a small business and that be the uh, there are ways to do that. I am not a lending financial advisor. You want to, you want to, you want to take your 401k and put it into crowdfunding? <laughs> well, if you want to invest in a small business. Your own business? Well, I, it's someone else's business. If you have an escrow account, you can invest in your own business. So the way you do that is uh, they call them self-directed IRAs or something like Guidance Financial, uh, who will basically hold private company assets for you in an IRA in a regulated way that... Uh, Meets fair value rules. I like a 401k meets Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's the, from the accounting firm. Here we go. Um, you, you talked about comparative analysis. So, what would the nature of that comparative analysis be? Would it be a performance base? Would it be fee based? Because the, the fees aren't going to make enough, you know, of a change to somebody. So, I'll go with them because the other publications are stiff. What do you really think is the comparative piece that we're going to be able to present? Uh, so, a couple different things. We think the most important thing for consumers to focus on is what service they need to be successful. So, there are very low cost companies like Zeco and E Trade and you know, or, sorry, Trade King who have low level of customer services for pure do it yourselfers. And then there are more high service firms like a Merrill Lynch, or Morgan Stanley, or Edward Jones, uh, who are very high touch. 
uh, and people who have a great degree of discretion to hand over. So we think that's the most important thing to focus on is what service level do you need? And then next layer down is what cost for that service. Uh, so that's kind of the, the process that we take consumers through. And then uh, secondly, in our auction process, we're looking to, uh, to create a sense, okay, this is going to cost me X per year, and then these guys are willing to, to offer me you know, Y for my business, and creating a very clear comparison to consumers. There's already some cash back offers out there, cash bonus offers for your roller. We're trying to help people evaluate those 